Hello and welcome to the Artist Toolkit tutorial series. In this episode we will create abilities for our treasure house. And the first ability will be our Warlock recruiting ability. It is simple to create a recruiting ability. Just go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash building processes slash recruiting folder and create a new child blueprint of the recruit ability. Set an ID and specify union classes to recruit. You can set different classes for different factions. For instance, default recruit worker ability recruits a hard worker when player's faction is hard and human worker when player's faction is humans. Here you can also set necessary buildings. Now open ability subsystem slash data slash abilities data table, add and fill a new row for our new ability. Finally, open Actors Abilities data table and add this new ability to the treasure house. Let's add Choose Mobilization Point ability to the list because we want to choose mobilization point for recruited units. Also open your treasure house and set Mobilization Point actor visible again. It is important to set Z location of the unit slot scene root to the value greater than 0. 80 should be enough. That's it, let's test it. I've also deleted necessary buildings from the Build Treasure House ability, so we don't need to build townhouse firstly. It works fine, we can recruit our warlock. Mobilization point works as well. Now I want to create an ability to upgrade our treasure house. Go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash building processes slash enhancements and create a child blueprint of the building upgrade ability. Here we can set several settings. The first one is building enhancement process, but we will use default one. The second one is upgrade level. It is level 1 upgrade, so I'll not change it. The next one is upgrade tick frequency. We also don't need this setting. Next level upgrade ability ID. If you want to create a level 2 upgrade, you should specify here its ID but I'll have only one upgrade, so I'll leave it none. And finally, we should specify an ID. Also, you can add necessary buildings classes. Now open abilities data table and once again fill a new row. Note that we don't need to check is one time use setting, because upgrade is one time by default and always will be removed after the player uses it. After that, open Actors Abilities data table and add new recruit ability to the Treasure House abilities list. Finally, open your Treasure House and override an upgrade process event. Here I'll just take our stats component and change max health value by 500 when the Treasure House reaches level 1. Also, don't forget to add a call to the parent function, it is important. You can also override upgrade update process event if you need to, but make sure that the update frequency is a positive value. Let's open Treasure House Mesh Actor and override and upgrade process event for the mesh. I'll add an extra mesh for the upgraded Treasure House. Set hidden in game to true by default and that set it to false in the end upgrade process event. Now we can test it. As you can see, we can upgrade our treasure house and its health will be increased. Also, here is our extra mesh have appeared. Finally, I want to create a research ability which increases Warlock's movement speed. Go to the ability subsystem slash blueprints slash building processes slash enhancements and create a child blueprint of the enhancement ability. Here you can see three main categories class enhancement, general enhancement and ability enhancement. In this episode we will use only class enhancement. Class enhancement affects actor classes like RTS based building or specific RTS unit. So I'll add 
a warlock as an actor to enhance. Note that you can add different classes for different factions. After that, you should specify class enhancements. We will use predefined movement speed max boost. This enhancement works pretty simple. We take a stats component of the actor to enhance and then just use change max style value with enhancement constants as a value delta. So it means that we should add a custom constant. Go to the ability subsystem slash data folder and open custom constants data table. Add a new row and add one element to the constants array. I'll set its value to 100 because I want to increase Warlock's movement speed by 100 after our new research. After that, open your research ability blueprint and specify a constant ID. Finally, let's set this research to the data tables. Don't forget to set an ID. Open abilities data table, add and fill a new row for our research. Note that the research must be one-time use ability. Also add a new research to the treasure house abilities list. Let's test it. As you can see, after the research is completed, Warlock's movement speed increases. If we recruit a new Warlock, he will also have increased movement speed. In the next episode, we will create several custom enhancements and learn more about enhancement subsystem. See you next time!